So the bone saw is a necessity. Helps you cut right through that bone instead of hacking through it with the hatchet or with the cleaver. It has really big jagged teeth on the blade. So it's not about the pressure that you're pushing down while you're using the saw. You go nice and smooth back and forth. Those teeth are gonna dig in there and cut right through that bone. We're gonna go ahead and portion out these porterhouses here. About every two fingers is the perfect size. We go ahead and cut first with our knife. Now let's come back with the saw and cut through the rest of the bone. Now we got our beautiful porterhouses and our T-bones. You can tell the difference in the porterhouses here because there's a lot more of that tenderloin on the steaks than there is on the T-bones. Here's our pork loin right here. Now you can see where it ends right there. So that's telling us that's where we're gonna to wanna to start our cut to remove this belly, because we still wanna have just a little bit of fat around there. Now we have our skin on pork loin. We're gonna go ahead and take the skin off before we start making our pork chops. There we go. Now we have our skinless pork loin. 